Dutch from All Seeing Eye Tarot. Here with another reading, um, one thing that I realized is that I had one of my clients say to me, what about those that didn't get into the vertex? Where's the reading at? And the crazy thing is I actually recorded that reading and I thought I uploaded it. But when I went back and checked my board, I see that it wasn't uploaded and I had already deleted it to make space in my phone. So this is something that was on my mind for a long time. You know, people that um, see this world is so fucking competitive. You know, it, it's kind of like, OK, if you didn't make it into the vertex, then you ain't shit. Or if you don't have a twin flame, then it means that you're nothingness. First and foremost, I don't want you to feel that way, because one thing I'm going to tell you is. Life partners, twin flames, that shit is hard, Linda, okay? It's very difficult. Even though it seems like it's something that is easy, it is extremely difficult. It's one of the most difficult relationships you'll ever be in in your life. And you have to have a lot of endurance to be able to move into the vertex to go into union with another individual. Because even myself right now, even though I jump through the vertex, I still don't see anything happening you know, and, and sometimes I get a little antsy and I'm like, well, what the fuck is supposed to happen? All right, do I, did I go through the vertex and I'm pulling all kind of oracles and shit? Because Tara won't tell you that. <laughs> Tara will tell you yes or no, but Tara won't really tell you whether you jump through the vertex or not. You know, or what's supposed to happen. I'll just put it that way. Okay, because especially for twins, because once you jump through the vertex, then there's no longer you and them. It's now merged into one. So if I was to pull a reading on you, I would get that person's whole entire story and I wouldn't see you aside from them. Okay. You guys would merge together because you're in union, meaning that you're just one soul. All right. Um, I don't know what these cards are going to say, guys. I'm going to try to interpret it. This is the 78 doors. Tarot. And I'm going to see what's going on for you guys that um, didn't make the vertex. The one thing I want to tell you is that just because you didn't make the vertex in December doesn't mean you're not going to make the vertex the next time around. All right. Um, making the vertex is as simple as clearing up all of your karmic energy from past lives <clears throat> and being able to balance at that midpoint with you and your twin flame or you and your life partner. OK, and being able to jump into union. OK, but honestly, you know, and I told you guys I would document how it felt every step of the way. I don't feel no change, honestly. OK, it is only January the 3rd, but I don't feel any change. I feel myself closer, resonating with him a lot closer. And I, I feel the yearn and I didn't yearn before. OK, I'm not having any dreams right now. So um, there's no dreams going on. Um, but leading up to the vertex, there was all kind of dreams that were popping out back to back to back. And now I just feel a deep love for him, um, unconditional love. And I guess you would call that anticipation, like excited, excitement. I'm wondering when it's going to happen, but I can't get the answer to that. Because when I pull tarot or I pull oracles or anything like that, that's not something that they let you know. They don't let you know when. OK, I had to reach out to one of my readers, um, the person that I go to, OK, to try to get some information on when she's seen something happening. OK, like, did you see anything happening? Like, is something going to go down? And it was even blinded from her. So, you know, I, there's no shortcuts to this. It's just is what it is. I'm going to keep moving through. I'm going to keep supporting my clientele and my client base and everything. I'm going to keep doing my readings and everything. And when it happens, you guys will be the first to know because I will document it, okay? All right, so Spirit and Universe, what are the messages you have for those that did not move through the vertex <clears throat> on December the 22nd, 2017? What is the messages that you have for those that did not move through the vertex? I can assure you that it doesn't, it probably doesn't feel any different than those of you that didn't move to the vertex, not in the beginning anyway, because there's nothing happening. There's no action or anything that's taking place. Not that I could see anyway. Okay. Maybe that's going to change soon enough, but we're three days into the new year, so I can't really judge. One more. Okay. Yeah. We're three days into the new year, so I can't really judge it. But just like all of you, I'm I'm learning this exactly, you know, for the first time as well. So 
all I can say to my client base is that I haven't felt anything. Nothing has changed. I haven't heard from him. I did cuss his ass out on New Year's Eve because I was drinking. And that's what I do. <laughs> and it's been a long time since I cursed him out. A very long time. I haven't done that in years. Okay, so I did get drunk and I cursed him out. Text him. And I don't do that. Okay, so it's been a year since I did that. And I did do that. So, <clears throat> I don't know. We have the Judgment card. We have the Six of Swords. The Ten of Wands. The Empress. The Two of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. Under the Judgment, we have the Five of Swords. See, there's still hidden things that are taking place. This is still a karmic situation that hasn't been resurrected. You haven't let out your truth. You haven't understood why you're in your position that you're in. Um, with your beloved or other half. You have the five of wands. That's two fives there. That's conflict, inner conflict. Under the ten of wands, you got the page of swords. Still secrecy going on here. And then you have the king of pentacles. So this may be Capricorn. This could be a Capricorn woman that has a child with an individual. <clears throat> and there may be um, some secrets that she may be keeping or something. Capricorn. This is a Capricorn that didn't make it through the vertex, okay? Six of Pentacles under the Two of Pentacles. This could be two karmic situations that are taking place. And then under the Ten of Swords, we got the Queen of Swords. So this could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So maybe between Capricorn, um, Taurus, and Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Okay, this, this could be your message. What is the advice? The Eight of Cups. Tell me more. And the Tower. <clears throat> I kind of see those cards, the Eight of Cups and the Tower, as resisting arrest. That's what it sounds like to me, okay? Um, I'm going to beat these cards down so I can see more. Kind of like another flower on the wall, but this is explaining why... You guys did not make it into the vertex with a particular partner, especially if you're Capricorn um, or Taurus and you're dating an air sign, okay? Or you have a life partner or a twin flame that is an air sign, all right? This message is going to pertain to you. Okay, so let me just take a look at this and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to pause the video and as you can see, I had already beat the cards, okay? Because I'm not trying to stay here forever, guys. I'm just trying to get to the message and uh, make it very clear. So I'm going to explain it really quickly, and then I'm going to be out on this message. Why you didn't make it through the vertex? I'm definitely speaking to um, those Capricorns out there, um, or Taurus, that may be connected with uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, okay? And it looks like maybe you had a child with this individual, okay? And um, it was it kind of happened maybe a while ago, Um while this person was married or in a relationship, okay? Um, and what happened was this was a secret that was kept from the baby's father for a very long time. It looks like that, okay? Anyway, with the Ten of Wands, it kind of looks like there was a, a secret that was kept from the baby's father for a very long time. The baby's father could be um, this King of Swords or whatnot, all right? Um, what I do feel is that this year... It looks like there is balance that is taking place between your child and also your baby's father. There's balance that's taking place between them, especially if you have a child that may be a fire sign. Okay, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, mainly Leo or Sagittarius. Okay, so if your child by this Aries, I mean, if your child by this Aquarius Libra is a Leo or Sagittarius, then I'm talking to you. All right. It looks to me that you didn't make it through the vertex, all right? It kind of looks like there is somewhat of a situation that is taking place here. Some things that are taking place behind the scenes that you cannot see. Um, I feel like the child and, and the father of the child um, is working out balance and working out energy, trying to get into each other's life, trying to reacquaint themselves with one another. Also, it kind of reminds me... Um, with this tower fent up against this ten of swords, it kind of looks like where you're moving towards is uh, maybe the wife or um, 
Yeah, the wife, definitely, with the Hierophant being here. The wife is just now finding out that there was some sort of infidelity in uh, this Aquarius, uh, Libra. I'm going to say Aquarius or Libra. The Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. It could be Gemini, too, because I got the Queen of Swords. The Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, um, they're just finding out that they actually have a baby. All right? Or they could be in relationship to a Gemini, Libra, or an actual um, Virgo Taurus. So their wife may have been a Libra, Gemini, or Virgo or Taurus. Okay? And it looks like she is just witnessing and finding out that there was infidelity um, maybe a few years ago and you have a child by this Aquarius Libra guy. All right. So this is taking some time. It kind of reads off to me that you didn't move through the vertex, especially with this Knight of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. What I'm going to warn against is this. Um, try not to rush anything between you and this person. Try not to hurry up and try to put it together in perspective and, and you um, try to be with him or, or seek a, a solid commitment yet. OK, because this has been it, it looks like there's been a long time that maybe they were inside of this marriage or inside of this relationship and if you rush and you push too hard then it could like fall apart in your hands obviously you want to be with this person in a relationship and that's cool and dandy but this is really not about you it's really about the child that you have with this individual and them to learning how to get along and you know uh, recognize each other and you know fall in love with one another yeah it's really about them just falling in love with each other, okay? Because we have the judgment here going up against this King of Wands and then the Seven of Cups. Let me be done the Seven of Cups. I should have did that before. Go into the Seven of Cups. The Four of Cups. Tell me more. The Nine of Swords. All right. So it kind of looks like in the beginning, this person did not believe that this fire sign child was theirs. They didn't believe that. Um, they didn't want to believe it because at the time they were probably in a relationship or something. They were off the market. They were married or whatever, and they could not accept that at the time. But it kind of reads to me with the Six of Pentacles that they had already been longing and, and feeling as if um, there's a possibility that your child or, you know, whoever is the actual mother, there was a possibility that this child was theirs. Okay. Plus they have a spiritual contract. It looks like with this fire sign. So this is not about fire and air really. Okay. This is about air and, and, and earth signs that are in relationship. Okay. That are actual life partners and they have children with these individuals. They have children, but it may have been a long time ago because I don't usually see, um, babies that are with life partners. It may have been many years ago. It may have been years ago when the other vertex hit because right now this is not happening as far as vertexes and, and how things are linking up. And especially, I don't usually see Capricorn or Taurus with air. Okay, I don't see that as life partnership. So this life partnership may be from a very long time ago. Okay, um, and you're just now get in touch with this person and you're trying to establish or get a relationship between the baby's father and the child going, you may be responsible for that. Okay. It's, it's kind of similar to one thing I see like this year for 2018, 2017, I have given the Zodiac signs of those of you that may be twins right now. Okay. And life partners. So I already said Scorpio, Libra, Leo, Cancer, um, Pisces, Aries, or Aries, Capricorn. Um, I've already given a bunch of signs, okay? But however, sometimes I'll see a cross between two people like uh, Earth and, and fucking air, okay? And, and this is not very relevant in the year of 2017, 2018. It's not relevant, okay? Meaning that um, there's no union for these two people in 2017, 2018. It doesn't mean that they won't get together. It just means that it is still be like a scattered energy, kind of like an on and off sort of thing. Okay. Um, but what I do see is fire and air getting together. So this is why I tried to tell you the person that I'm talking to in this reading, you have a child by an air sign. Okay. You're an earth sign. You have a child by an air sign. Your child is a fire sign. Okay. Now your child 
and that father jumped through the vertex and now they're trying to balance their energy together and they're trying to clear up their karma. Okay, kind of like make up for, for lost times. I hope I'm making sense to you guys because sometimes I could be crazy as fuck and say some shit that you might, that may go right way over your head. But I'm trying to explain it to you how, it, how it's really happening. So when I say to you that it's really not about you this year or last year, it's more so about the child, especially if they're Leo. If you have a Leo child and, and an Aquarius individual, this is about the two of them balancing. We also have a Leo and Aquarius life partners that are balancing right now. Okay. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Aquarius person had a child that may have been a Leo. All right. Or Sagittarius. Okay. And they're now trying to connect with that child from a distance that they haven't seen in many years or whatever. And this is about them. It's not really about you. So if you have a life partner and you had a baby by this person a long time ago. Okay, Linda. Okay. Now, that, that's a side, in, you know, inside joke. Y'all don't understand that, but my client got it. If you had a kid with this person many years ago, this is not about you and them getting into a relationship. All right. Of course, you want to do your kegels and prepare your body and get into your health and things like that, just in case you're called on and just in case you're needed. But this is more so about the relationship between the father and the child. All right. Because there's some making up to do with the father, because it looks like the father may have neglected the child due to the fact that he was already married. All right. So he may have neglected this child for many years. So they're now catching up with one another and they're trying to get into each other's life. On top of that, I got this other bitch that's coming through, which is maybe the ex-wife. I don't feel that they're still married. I feel like they're divorced now because the justice card sits here and it sits right next to the moon on the six of pentacles. So she may not have known anything about um, your child, your long distance kid that you had with her husband. She may just recently be finding out about that. Now, she may be a Virgo Taurus. Also, she could be a Libra or Gemini, okay? She's just now finding out about that. So now she's devastated. What? You're telling me this man cheated on me. Um, he had a baby on me. And, and, and now this shit is coming out of the woodwork. I'm done and over with him, but still it doesn't, you know, buffer anything. It still hurts. So it kind of looks like this. I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. With this Knight of Swords going into the Seven of Pentacles, it kind of looks like... Um, this wife, this ex-wife may be trying to determine paternity. She may be trying to say, okay, well, maybe you need to get a paternity test on that kid because I don't believe that's your baby. Okay. You know, this is a very long time ago. It happened a very long time ago and you need to be sure that this is really your child. Okay. So this could be a DNS, DNA test that may come up between these two. Okay. So let me look at this. Um, because this Knight of Swords here being on this Queen of Swords is kind of like her judgment, the ex-wife. Her judgment kind of saying, you know, this shit been happening a very long time ago, you know, and it kind of, we were married. And now you're telling me that there's a possibility that you had a baby with this new bitch. Well, she ain't a new bitch. She's an old bitch. But um, it's just now coming out to her. So let me look at that Knight of Swords. She might try to take him or encourage him to get a paternity test on that child. Tell me more, strength, the page of pentacles and the star. Yeah, she might try to challenge him to get a paternity test on this kid. Let's go into the seven of, yeah. This woman, the person I'm talking to is probably a Capricorn or a Taurus, okay? It looks like this new woman, this this wife, okay? Well, she's not a new woman. She's the ex-wife, okay? But this is a long time ago. This looks like my story, um, my 40-year paternity, honestly. This is what it looks like, okay? So, if you're listening, baby, this is for you, too. Okay, so pay attention. This woman wants paternity. The ex-wife wants paternity on your daughter, okay? She wants paternity on your daughter or your son or whatever because there's thousands of people watching this and there's a lot of people that's in this situation right now. She wants him to get a paternity test on the child, all right? Now, for some of you, this is a little child. For others of you, this may be an older child, and this may have happened years ago, all right? But now she's gunning for you, and she's saying, I want you to get a paternity test on this bitch, because how in the fuck, after all these years, she's going to pop up. This is her. This is you, Capricorn, Taurus, popping up saying that this is your child, all right? How's she going to pop up after all these years? 
after everything that I worked for, after everything I put into this marriage, and say that her child is yours. Okay, you guys may have been pregnant at the same time. You got kids that are around the same age, and she wants to make sure it's 100% true. Going to four ones. All right. The Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. Now, he may be in a whole nother relationship, it looks like. He, he doesn't look to be with this ex-wife. He looks like maybe he's in a relationship with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe she lives a distance. Maybe they both live a distance from you. They don't live in the same state as you. Okay? He's in a whole new relationship. I need, I need information on how this paternity is going to go, please. The Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Bust into that Five of Cups. The Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Okay? It could be that this guy, the, the father of the child, even though the ex-wife is encouraging him to get paternity tests, he may be looking at this situation like, regardless, fuck the paternity test. I don't need the paternity test. I know that I've been on and off with this woman for a while. I know that this is my child. Fuck you. Stand back. You're not going to interrupt what we have going, okay? Because it kind of looks like the, the, the father of the child actually has um, a karmic duty towards that kid. Okay, so regardless if, if, if the child wasn't his daughter or it was his daughter, it doesn't matter. Spiritually, this child is connected to this man. So, you know, he's fighting up against maybe the ex-wife, the children, the other children, you know, that are all encouraging him to take a blood test on this kid or whatever. He's fighting against them. And he's like, listen, at this point, I really don't give a fuck. This is what I have to do in order to set my life straight. Okay, and you need to back the fuck up because if I accept her as my child or I accept him as my child, then this has nothing to fucking do with you. Okay, so he's fighting up against that. All right. The answer to your question is no, you did not make it into the vertex. The reason being is because there is a lot of disruptions that are coming for the year 2018 that you cannot see yet. Um, definitely, if you had a situation to where you had a child by someone and you never determine paternity with that kid, um, this could be something that kind of delayed you guys, all right? The checking the paternity of the child, it could be something that delayed you guys, okay? There's a lot of things that need to come out into the open that weren't out in the open, all right? And like as far as this child that was born maybe a few years ago, maybe a lot of years ago, inside of this marriage and the wife did not know about this marriage i mean the wife did not know sorry my phone rang and fucking caught my attention but the wife did not know about this sad child all right and it just now came out it just now came out recently all right and this is the reason why you couldn't make it through the vertex because everybody needs to be clear of what is going on everybody needs to understand exactly what is going on without there being any arguments or disruptions this is very necessary in order for you guys to make it through the vertex. That's why, you know, I, I try to stay away from those people to say, I'm with my twin flame, but I'm fucking creeping with a married man. You're not with your goddamn twin flame, crazy ass. Okay, that's not your twin flame. When you're with your twin flame, everybody knows about everybody, okay? There's no secrets or none of that shit. I do have one twin flame couple that is actually with their twin flame and... um. It's a very powerful union because the wife, her twin flame is married and the wife knows about her. Okay. There's no secrets there. All right. So the wife really much, pretty much knows about her. She knows about the wife. Everybody is clear on what is going on. Okay. Um, and that's the way twin flame should be because there's not no secrets. Okay. If you got all kinds of secrets and you're creeping with some dude and you're talking about, you know, I'm his twin flame, you made that up, Linda. You may tie that, okay? Because that's not the way it works. All right. Um, there's no secrets when it comes to twin flames, when it comes to life partners. Life partners do a lot more cheating than actual um, twin flames, okay? Life partners do a lot more cheating because it's kind of like they keep separating all the way through the union. They separate over and over and over again because they're trying to clear up the karmic energy um, that was created from previous lifetimes, whereas the twin flames are trying to clear up the karmic energy of the self so they can totally understand themselves. Okay, so I'm going to beat these two cards. And I'm going to see what they're talking about. Okay, so as you can see, I beat the cards down. I paused the video. The reason I did that is because it takes too fucking long, Linda. 
Okay. I'm going to start laying out all my, um, my cards before I actually record it because it takes a long time. I'm already 24 minutes in and I'm saying the same thing over and over again. Okay. So those of you that are worried, um, this year, 2018, uh, the ex-wife that challenges you to get a paternity test or challenges the baby's father to get a paternity test, I don't need you to worry, okay? Because at the end of the day, let me tell you how this works. Whether you like it or not, your child, especially if you have a fire sign child, Leo or Sagittarius, only Leo or Sagittarius, okay? If you have a fire sign child by an Aquarius or Libra, you are a Capricorn or Taurus, Okay? Regardless of whether you like it or not, this father has a spiritual tie to this child, okay? And he will stop at nothing to be into this child's life because it's kind of slowing his life down. Now, what's going to happen is he's going to create a lot of enemies and a lot of conflict between his original family, all right? What that means is the wife, like I said, the ex-wife is going to challenge him to get a paternity test on your child if you're the Capricorn or Taurus. OK, he's not going to do that because he feels like at this point, I owe this woman something because she raised this child by herself. OK, and I have been feeling rather lonely and separated. And I know that I have duty. I know that I have work to do with this child. OK, this is going to put me straight. I'm not with your ass no more. We're not married anymore. OK, but I have a life partner that I have to work out some balance with. So I don't want you to worry about whether he's the father of your child, whether he's going to push your daughter away or your son away and he's not going to get into their life or this is going to disrupt. I don't want you to worry about none of that shit because at the end of the day, this is what's meant to be and nobody can step on this. Nobody could step in the middle of this. This has to play out the way it's supposed to play out, which is the father gaining a connection with a child, okay? Leo, Sagittarius, that is his child. He has to gain a connection with that child in order for his life to go on. Other than that, he'll probably won't, he won't be here for 2018, the rest of 2018. Probably die of a sudden death, okay? So he knows this spiritually. So he's working his ass off to make sure that he gains a connection to this child, all right? Even if it means pushing the wife away, walking away, from it looks like maybe he has two kids with his wife already okay he he invested a lot of energy a lot of time into this person with the eight of cups but he's walking away it's the eight of cups on the eight of cups he's walking away from that okay because he has a higher calling a higher purpose not to mention this woman that has this fire sign child has raised this child alone by herself for a very long time so she's owed a debt okay so therefore this is where he's going. So don't worry if you're in that situation, guys. You have a fire sign kid by a uh, air sign um, male. Don't worry. Or if it's vice versa, you are the air sign and you have a, a, a fire sign child by a uh, king of pentacles, uh, Capricorn Taurus. Okay. Then this could pertain to you as well. Don't worry this year. Okay. There's going to be many that is raised up that try to come against you, but they're not going to win. Okay, because this is divine purpose. This is divinity at its best. I'm going to pull one card for you guys from the <clears throat> Journey of Love from Alana Fairchild because I'm, I'm glad to do that. So I'm going to read this to you. Pull one card to let you know what's going on for those of you that are antsy and you're nervous and you don't know what the fuck is going to happen because it's very scary. Maybe you came to Bella and you got a paternity test and maybe you never went through the court system. So you're nervous and you're wondering, shit, is he going to find out that I'm not the father? He's not the father. I don't want my baby hurt. Listen, Linda, sit the fuck down and let me do what I do. Okay. I wouldn't be Bella Dutch if I didn't do what I do. All right. So if I told you he's the father, he's the father. Everything else is history. Okay. All right, let's see. Look at this first. All right, give me one card to talk to this Capricorn Taurus. One card. Oh, wait a minute. I got the shit backwards. I'm a little, I've been, I'm buzzing, okay? I've been drinking a little bit. My sister brought me the liquor that I was supposed to get on New Year's, so I'm buzzing a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But my reading's on point. What is the message you have for that? Cap okay. Guardian of the soul family. You see this shit? I can't make this up. Guardian of the soul family. I can't make this up. 
It's either you're going to get down or lay down. What you going to do? You sticking with Bella for 2018 or you going somewhere else? What you going to do? Let's see what it says. I'm looking for it. Because I don't know what these cards all say. But I like the deck. It's brand new. I got it on New Year's Eve. And I have not read through all the cards. I don't do that. I usually just like to pull cards and get a surprise like you. It says you are being drawn to kindred spirits in this physical world. By loving guardians in the spiritual worlds. If you feel you are leaving relationships behind, do not be afraid. The space that such courageous action creates is sometimes necessary in order to have room for the new to enter your sphere of consciousness. You may also feel that somehow a relationship that seems to be held back from you is now becoming available to you. You hear that, Linda? There is a great soul love calling you into more intimate connections now. It is sanctioned by the divine. It is a karmic destiny to fulfill. There is love that you are to experience in connection with particular souls, predetermined by the divine plan. If you are struggling to fill the soul purpose in your current relationship, take heart for you are being helped by divine guardians who understand and support the sacred purpose of your relationships. Be open to current relationships healing. Whether that means improved communication and enriched experience or the realization that you have traveled as far as you can together and know that new relationships are going to be an important aspect of your spiritual destiny being fulfilled. Trust in the divine timing of your life and open your heart to the guardians who help you with unconditional love now. The guidance of this oracle for you is that relationship healing is taking place and present relationships unfolding and attracting the right relationship for your future growth and then leaving behind relationships of the past with a peaceful heart. Be gentle with your heart, beloved, all is well. The little poem that goes with it. Okay. It says, when I open my heart, you cover me with a blanket of love and warm the silence with your caress. Words unspoken say it all, as we become more than we are alone. This shit is working out for you, Linda. So you need to chill the fuck out and calm down. Stop being so nervous. Stop worrying about, oh, maybe he's not my father, my baby's father. And what if, what if this happens? What if he leaves my child alone and he opened up her heart and leaves her? Or he opened up his heart and leaves him? Chill the fuck out, Linda. All right? I'm very accurate. If I say it's going to happen, if you had a reading with me already... Okay, then chill the fuck out. All right? I know what I'm talking about. This is not brand new. This is Bella. Okay? At her best. History. Okay? I love you so much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. All right? Um, This is not going to pertain to everybody, but I had someone get in my email and ask me a few questions. I had a few people get in my email and ask me questions. So, hopefully, this answered your question, guys. All right, not just my regulars, but also there were some new people that were asking me questions. All right, so hope, hopefully this answered your question. All right, so I love you much. Do like, share, comment below. It's at the bottom of my description box, and it'll tell you how to donate to me. I appreciate every donation. I will get back to you letting you know that I received your donation and thanking you generously, okay? I love you so much. Keep writing for me because I'm going to keep writing for you. And until the next reading, thank you guys.